Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. And today we're going to have a look at a feature that's been added to Courseplay recently that lets it work with grapes and olives, which is really cool. So let's roll the intro and have a look at how it works. So before we get into the details of how it works, if you're new to the channel and you aren't already, please click the subscribe button and turn on notifications. You'll make me very happy. And if you enjoy the video, hit the like button. We do not smash like buttons here. I need likes and if you break it, you have to buy me a coffee. Okay, that's all the YouTube stuff out of the way. Let's get going. So I have over here a small vineyard and a small olive grove. Um, and as I said, one of the features that they have added to Courseplate recently is that you can now use Courseplate on vines. So let's have a look at how it works. So I found the best way of setting this up um, is to actually park into your um, vineyard or olive grove. That way Courseplate automatically picks up that you're in what it classes as the field. Um, so then if we click on uh, no course down here on the mini hut that brings up our course generator and actually what we're going to do is we're going to go back a level and onto here and you can see that course play has picked up that this is our vineyard um, you need to be careful when you're placing the vines that they are connected properly um, so the course play sees it as one continuous lump um, but yeah just be careful when you place them make sure you place them right next to each other um, so if i go let's just show you if i go into the construction menu um what you want to do is make sure that you're as close as possible so it snaps you see how the vineyard snaps into place there that means it's going to go right next to the next one um i won't place it because it's going to be a different growth say but that's what you want you want it to snap into place and then with the olives they don't seem to snap so if you just start it as close as you can and then that will also put it in to the uh attach it right to the the last one that's that's really important because otherwise course play can't detect that this is all one field or one vineyard so back into the course generation so we'll go through the menu so we can see that course players picked up our field or vineyard of grapes and then if we go into course generation you have a lot less options for course play with the uh with the vineyards and the olive groves and this is the same for every implement and what you've got is position so for the pruner and the harvester you want on the vine um for all the other implements you want left or right i've been using right and it kind of works for me um, you've got an option for multiple tools which i will show you in a bit and an option to skip vines that is only for things like the fertilizer sprayer where you are covering vines and you can miss vines out it is not like skip rows on normal course plate and it won't come back and do the gaps um, so only use that if you're using something that spreads wide enough that it covers more than one vine. So you literally want to skip rows. Um, so we're going to go with just a simple course at the moment of right hand side of the vine and a single tool. And we will do generate a course and you can see we have a course down here. Um, and we've got the mulcher on the back because we need to mulch our grapes. Uh, and we're just going to hit first waypoint and go and off it will go now, some of the tractors need quite a lot of room to turn around you will notice i am not using many of the shiny tractors from the new dlc because they have pretty awful turning circles and that means course play tends to need a lot of room to turn around beyond the vineyard so the other thing you can do is if we go into the course play menu and select the courses menu and we'll uh, we'll create a new folder for vines and we'll click on that and we will save this course as grapes right and then we'll jump in another tractor so we've got the little new holland here and um, with the cultivator on the back what's the subsoiler really and we'll get this guy going as well because you can run them at the same time 
So if we click on there and go to load course. And load that course up. There we go, it's just above us. And then do first waypoint and go. And there we go, we have mulched and we are now cultivating in our grapes. So th this for me is pretty game changing. Um, I have not done grapes at this point because there are time, well you know, I think to make money you need to do grapes on a large scale and I'm going working on a video looking at the profitability of grapes and you can see here one of the issues with using course play um, is it's not lifting the cultivator, I'm assuming that they're going to be working on that so you do want to have a bit of room behind your, around your vineyard or your grape, grape vineyard or your olive grove to allow for it to turn around and not destroy any of your other crops you've got planted in the next field for example you might also want to try putting in a fence or a hedge so that there's a collision so course plate avoids that uh, but yeah for me this is pretty game changing because I think you need to do grapes and olives on a large scale and it's quite time consuming so I do like using course play for some things like this so we will see our fence is coming up to the last row for the course. One of the things I have noticed is that it tends to miss that last outside edge. Um, so I'm not sure, with, I'm not an expert on grapes. I don't do a lot with grapes. So I'm not sure if you need to. So what I do is when this finishes, I'll jump in and just drive that last miss bit. Um, it's just a, the fact that you have to set it to go one side of the vine. Um, it's not a big deal, it takes seconds, you know. And then what we're going to do is we'll do on the grapes, we'll do a double course, just so you can see what that looks like. Uh, but this works really well. I have I've tried it on a hillside and the implements all work well. The harvest doesn't seem to seems to get stuck a little bit on a fairly steep hillside. Um, but it works pretty well, it works pretty well. So let's go over to the olives and we'll do the same thing. Set course up. And we'll go left side this time and I'm going to bring over another tractor with, uh, which one should we use? Let's use this one. So this is a DLC tractor. Um, but you'll notice it has normal steering, it's the articulated tractors from the DLC that tend to struggle. And we'll just set up a, a multiple implement course. Just so you can see that. And it's pretty much the same, you know, I think these are these grapes are fully fertilised, but if you wanted to use the sprayer, you then might use the skip vines option. Bring this guy over. Right, so if we jump in here, we're going to clear the course off using the little cross symbol, and then we are going to generate a new course. You see it's picked up that we're in the olive grove now, and we're going to do two tools per course, and we are now on the left side of the vine. So let's generate that course, and our start point is over here. Uh, and like you would with a normal implement course, you've got left and right vehicles. We're going to leave this one on the left. We do need to save this course. So we're going to go into vines and we're going to save course as olives left two. And then we'll get this guy up and running and we'll jump in the other tractor and get that loaded up. We go load course olive left two and we put this one to be the right vehicle first waypoint and go and you can see this time we've missed the outside piece on the right here you would just need to go back and pick that up separately but that's a two tool course pretty cool i think yeah i think if i check my uh my grapes and olives are currently fully fertilized but we'll look at doing the sprayer after we've harvested which i'm going to skip to in a moment so if we were to jump in the little new holland 
a little methane powered New Holland and we can set up a course for that as well. Um, and you can see it's detecting the uh, the rows of the olive grove. And if we just park up here and again click on the course button, we want to be right side of the vine this time. I think we're about to be in the way. I think that's the fence just finishing its mulching. Yeah. Let's just pull that out of the way and we'll uh, I'll get the cultivating done and I'll come back to you when we're ready to harvest and we'll have a look at a course that is on the vine. So it's a few in-game months later and our grapes are ready to harvest. I'm playing without seasonal changes just to make this easier. Um, we've got the grape harvester first. So we'll just unfold that and uh, drive it on to the vine. Excellent driving there. Right, so if we uh, right click again to bring up the min course plate mini HUD and click on no course. And this time we want on the vine because the grapes are on the vine. Let's generate the course. Uh, and I'm just going to go first waypoint and back up a little bit. And we can set that guy off to go and harvest. And you can see we are harvesting grapes. So if we then jump into the olive harvester and we can do the same thing, we can have them both running at the same time. And then we'll look at the pruner for the grapes and some spraying. So again, just drive far enough on that course plate detects that you are in the olive grove. And again, on the vine, generate course. This is really nice and simple. Back up a little bit. First waypoint, go. And off they both go. Not sure if we're going to fill either of them up as we run through this, but it is that simple. The guys who create course play have done an awesome, awesome job with getting this to work with the grapes and the olives. As I said, there is a slight issue I found with the harvester if you have them on a steep hill. The um, So these are designed to tilt for the terrain and it doesn't seem to quite work right um, I don't know if that's an issue with the harvesters or an issue with course play um, but yeah we can see we are working as I said you do need quite a lot of room around them to maneuver so bear that in mind when you're setting up your orchard or olive grove I have not tested it with collisions close by and you may want to do a little bit of testing yourself with that just to see how course play can cope with that if you're setting something up on a slightly smaller area but yeah I think this is so cool it's one of those things that you call a game changer for me definitely is a really good addition to the game Uh, I think we can uh, just let these guys and girls finish up their harvesting. It's going pretty quickly because these are fairly short runs, obviously. I'm just going to try and grab another screenshot while we're at it. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, I think it's working really well. Obviously not huge yields because they're fairly small, um, but we should now see as well that our fertilization is going away so we can do some spraying and some pruning and things and we will have a go at getting the spraying going with the skip vines I think it works I think the spread is wide enough on that that you could skip vines um, and I, you don't have to use the vineyard sprayer either do you, you could use a solid fert sprayer, spreader um, I think Dagoin did that on his um, vineyard and it definitely works yeah so we're not going to get full up on here so I don't need the two trailers that I have on standby but we do have the vert spreader and the pruner for the grapes standing by and you can see these are just cruising through the job um, nearly done on the olives with no issues 
the bit you have to watch as I keep saying is having enough space to turn these um, olive and grape harvesters do not have great turning circles and certainly some of the DLC vineyard tractors do not either particularly the articulated ones so if you want to use that really cool uh, Mac 4R mini quad track it struggles it does struggle a little bit it works but it struggles a little bit um, they do have enough horsepower to actually run both the mulcher and the cultivator or subsoil at the same time which is kind of cool you could do a single pass of your prep of your vines and olives yeah, that's the olive harvest pretty much done it looks like the grapes are almost finished as well um, so what you will see um, is one it folds itself down and it is now in the air um, but also it misses a little bit at the end so you probably want to turn the harvester on and just run that last little bit there we go it's a tiny amount but if you're bothered about it you might want to do that and um, so let's get these out of the way and i'll just skip forward a month and we'll do some fertilizing and some pruning so it's the next month and our grapes are withered um, so if we unfold this guy and again same way just get ourselves so we're into the field right click we want a course we are wanting it on the vine this time because the uh, the tool runs down the vine we will generate our course and then back up a bit first waypoint and go um you want to back up far enough that course place got time to work out placing the working width of the pruner um, and then this thing will just run up and down and prune all your grapes for you works really well like all the other steps so i did not test pruning on a hillside um i'm guessing it may or may not have issues like the harvesters and um, it probably doesn't because it doesn't tilt should be okay actually Maybe it does too. I don't know. I think this is a bit more forgiving on collisions. Um, having in my testing set this up completely wrong at first, it's a bit more forgiving on collisions um, as the implement moves around away from the tractor. But yeah, that's pruning. So I'll let this run away in the background and then we'll have a look at some spraying. So we're back in the little Tony the Tiger tractor don't think that's its actual name and we're going to try it with the skip vines now so let's pull ourselves up and we're going to go again with on the right hand side we'll clear that course off we are going to generate a course and we're going to skip a vine we're going right hand side and we will generate the course and i'm not sure if the spread width is wide enough on this particular implement but i just want to demonstrate the uh how the skip vine course works so we'll give it a go and see how we get on with fertilizing i'm not actually sure whether we can fertilize at this point because i say i'm not used to doing yeah we are fertilizing i think i'm not really not used to doing grapes i am going to get look at them more now we can use course play with them because it just makes life easier um, you can see the pruner is running in the background still and the rather wide turn that we are making You can see we made a bit of a mess with the cultivator as well. So it looks like it didn't work too great on that first little bit, but maybe should on the rest. We'll see how it goes as it runs down the next row. You may want to use a sprayer that's slightly wider. I know there's a manure spreader for vineyards now as well. And that looks quite cool. You will probably be seeing that on my Greenlands series in the future. we've almost caught up with the pruner because we're skipping rows and yeah so maybe with this particular sprayer you don't want to skip rows but that gives you the idea of how skip rows works and i think that's just pausing there because of the collision yep so yeah with this particular sprayer you might not want to skip rows 
if you wanted to use skip rows actually let's 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 go in a step further if you wanted to use skip rows as a way to make the turns easier but didn't want to have those little missed bits what you could do is because we did a course starting on the right hand side you could go back and generate a new course then uh, starting on the left so if we um, go back clear that course out new course and then do left side of vine and a skip vines and then back up and off we go this will then fill in the gaps we'll just move the little landini out of the way uh, it's done its job of pruning all of our vines for us and i think this will be the last little bit of the video we didn't need our fleet of trailers can i get back to tony the tiger there we go but yeah we should now be filling in the gaps yep so that's a way of using um this sprayer is clearly not quite wide enough for using that skip vines feature um but you could do it that way and that would make your turning easier and actually you might want to use that with the um with something like the cultivator because you could do skip vines and if you had two running you could set up two separate courses so you could do a left and a right course um, rather than doing a two implement course on how it's going to handle the fact that the landini is parked there badly is the answer let's get him out of the way very badly is how we're going to answer that there we go let me go there we go so yeah that is course play with vineyards and olives oh, i think this is so cool this is this this is the thing that has convinced me to start doing olives or olives grapes um so if you found the video useful uh click the like button we don't smash like buttons if you're not subscribed please click subscribe turn on notifications and if you've got comments about this if i've done something wrong or if there's something that you found else really cool with course play stick the comment below and i'll catch you next time on fs22